All right, hello boys and girls. Um, today I want to share the Easter story with you in a very special way. I have some eggs here and these are called resurrection eggs. And in each egg, there's a little treasure that is gonna help us share the Easter story with you today. Are you ready? Okay, so we're gonna start with this blue egg. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. We have a donkey. You see this little cute donkey? So this donkey is pretty special. This sweet young donkey let Jesus ride on him through the city of Jerusalem as the people, whoops, <laughs> as the people were shouting Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You see, the people were celebrating Jesus because they were excited for him to be their king and to come save them. But did you know that this little donkey was talked about in the Old Testament too? He sure was. Let's read about him in Zechariah chapter nine, verse nine. Rejoice greatly, people of Jerusalem. Shout for joy, people of Jerusalem. Your king is coming to you. He does what is right and he saves. He is gentle and riding on a donkey on the colt of a donkey. That's pretty cool, huh? So this is the donkey that represents the donkey that Jesus rode on in the city of Jerusalem. Egg number two, the light pink egg. What is in here? Three silver coins. You know, lots of people were excited about Jesus, but some people were not happy that Jesus might be their king. And some people only pretended to be happy, but on the inside, they really didn't want anything to do, do with them. And those people wanted to kill Jesus. So, but they needed somebody close to Jesus to help him. And that man's name was Judas Iscariot. And he went to make a deal with those bad people. And um, they paid him 30 pieces of silver in exchange for him to hand over Jesus. So these coins represent the 30 pieces of silver. Okay, here comes the third egg, the light purple egg. Inside this one, there is a little cup. Now Jesus was eating the Passover meal with his 12 disciples and he took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup and he filled it with wine and he said, this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for you for many for the forgiveness of all sins. And they ate the bread and drank from the cup. And so this is the cup so that we can remember um, God's promise to us. So there's number three. Okay, egg number four, the orange egg. Let's crack this one. Oh, the praying hands. So after the Passover meal, Jesus took his disciples to a garden in Gethsemane and he told his disciples to pray. And then he walked a little farther away and prayed to God himself alone and he prayed um, my father if it is possible do not give me this cup of suffering but do what you want not what I want because he knew that he was going to die soon so he was praying so this represents the time he was praying in the garden okay here's the next egg let's see what's in this one. Oh, this is a piece of leather cord this is a symbol for the whip. You see, when Jesus was done praying in the garden, um, he was arrested. And the leaders took him to Pilate, the governor, and had Jesus whipped. Even though Jesus hadn't done anything wrong, they still wanted Jesus to be killed. They knew that if the people believed that Jesus was the son of God, which he was, that they would follow him as their king and the bad leaders would lose their power over the people. So
So this piece of leather represents the whip that beat and hurt Jesus. Okay, here's the next egg. Oh my. I don't know if you can see it real well, but this is the crown of thorns. You see, after Jesus was whipped, the soldiers took branches with big long thorns on it and made a crown and put it on Jesus' head and shoved it down and make, made him bleed. Um, even though Jesus was the son of God and he could have stopped them, he didn't because Jesus was taking the punishment for our sins, for your sins and my sins. So this is the crown of thorns that was pushed on Jesus' head. Okay, here's the seventh egg. What's in here? Ah, what is this? This is the cross and it's made out of three nails. The soldiers made Jesus carry his own huge wooden heavy cross all the way up to the hill of Golgotha. The soldiers used three really big nails, one in his wrist, one in his other wrist, and one in his feet. It must have been so painful. A few hours later, he died on that cross. But Jesus had not sinned. Why did he have to go through this? Because God loves people so much, he was willing to let his son suffer the punishment for our sins. Even though it hurt Jesus badly, he was willing to do what God the Father asked because Jesus loves us too. And so here is the cross. All right, here is egg number eight, the light green egg. Oh, this is a die. Lots of people use dice to play fun board games. Have you used these before? Well, in the Easter story, um, while Jesus was on the cross, the soldiers were playing a mean and cruel game. They were gambling for who would take Jesus' clothes. Jesus knew what the soldiers were doing, but he wasn't angry because he was dying for their sins too. Um, he prayed for them while they were playing the game, and he prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So this is the die, the die that represents that part of the story. All right, here is the purple egg. What's in this one? Ah, this is a spear. The spear was pretty sharp for sure. <laughs> Before Jesus was taken down from the cross, a soldier had to check to see if he was, um, to see if he had passed away or not. So he struck, he took a spear and put it into the side of Jesus where immediately blood and water flowed. Jesus died a horrible and painful death on the cross, but he took the punishment for our sins because he loves us so much. So this is the spear that pierced his side. All right, let's see what's in the next egg. This is linen cloth. So after Jesus died on the cloth, a man named Joseph came and asked permission to take Jesus' body um, to properly bury him because he knew that he was the son of God. So, and after he took the Jesus' body, he wrapped Jesus in linen cloth like this. Um, and he put him in a tomb or a shallow cave that he had dug out of rock and laid him to rest. And Joseph went away. In this pink egg, there is a stone. Now this stone represents the stone that Joseph placed in front of the tomb to seal it. Um, it was much bigger than this, of course. So big, and I'm sure it was heavier than a car. And it was definitely hard to move by yourself. Um, there was soldiers that were placed in front of the tomb also to guard the tomb. Um, so that nobody would mess with Jesus' body. Well, did you know that in Matthew 28, 2, 4, 2 through 4, it tells how the stone was rolled away? Let's find out what it says. 
in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, 2 through 4, it says, And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended, that means came down, from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow, and for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. That means they fainted. Isn't that amazing that an angel was powerful enough to roll that big stone away? Well, so here we go. That This stone represents the stone in front of the tomb. All right, here's our last egg. Do you think there's something in it? You ready? It's empty. Are you surprised? Well, in our story, the women that came to Jesus' tomb were very surprised that there was nobody in it. The heavy stone was rolled aside and the tomb was empty. Jesus' body was not there. The angel told them, he has risen. Jesus had come back to life. This was the promise that Jesus made to his disciples at their special dinner just a few days before, that he would die but come back to life to show those who believed in him that they would live forever too. Someday, because Jesus died for us, we'll be able to meet Jesus and thank him in heaven. And that, my friends, is the story of Easter. I hope you enjoyed it and go tell somebody that Jesus is risen.